Hello everybody, this is Mike at iApprise Marketing and today I'm going to show you how to add menus to your WordPress website. If you've ever had a difficult time doing this, you are not alone. Um, so I'm going to walk you through not only how to add menus, I'm also going to show you how to do subcategories and these are all going to link to your subsequent pages. I want to ask everybody a quick question. Leave me um, a note in the comments below. What are you having difficulty with? Uh, whether it's uh, just the menu or something else, just leave me a note in the bottom that will kind of help me direct uh, what I do next. So I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. In today's example, we're going to be using the Astra theme on the WordPress site. And this allows us to have a menu that is different on mobile devices as opposed to desktops. This is important because sometimes you want to be able to do display different information on those different devices. So we'll take a look at that as well. Here we are on the back end of the WordPress site and you're going to see your menu items over here on your left hand side. So to find the menu we want to go down to appearance. So we're going to go down to appearance, hover over that and it's going to open up these and we're going to go down to menus. Now this is going to open up this page. Right here at the top, we can manage our location for our menus. Right here, so when we click on this, it's gonna show us where our menus are gonna be shown. So our primary menu, secondary, off campus uh, menu, uh, and then some of these other ones here. So let's go back to edit menus. And when you first start out, you're going to have something that's just like this, maybe top menu or something like that. But if you want to add your own menu, which I highly suggest, go right here where it says create new menu. Click on that. And I'm going to add a main menu. So I have that right here. If you don't see that, you probably won't see that. Just type it in. When you're ready, just go over here to the right, click create menu. Okay, that's going to unlock this side here where it says pages. And all of the pages that you've created, if you hit click or view all, you're going to be able to see home, blog, about, and gallery. These are the only pages that I've created so far on this site. So to add those to this menu, all I have to do is click them and fill in the little checkbox. And now I hit add to menu and that's going to put them right over here. You can open these up and you can select how it will be seen on the site. So this one I have is home. We'll take a look at this one. It's just going to be simply blog. But we could say if we were doing um, on this particular site, I'm doing landscape uh, photography. So this could be landscape photography block or something like that. It's up to you. So I'm going to shut these. So you can edit those to some extent. Um, you can also add things like posts, and your posts are your blog posts, so you could add those. There's only two of these, but we can add them, and it's going to be added right over here. Now, let's say we wanted to adjust these. We can simply just drag them to where we want them, so maybe we want our blog post to be under about. All we have to do is drag it like this, and now these guys our subcategories. Now when you're done, go over here and hit Save Menu. And there we go. Everything is set. So let's go to the front end and see how that looks. So we're going to go up here to the top. Remind me later. And we're going to hit hover over the name of your site and you're going to hit Visit Site. And here we are. So I have a very basic structure that I put together for the site. But if you look here at the top, we have our main menu here. Now, one thing that I'm noticing is that this we didn't set to actually our main menu. So it's one of our sub menus that we had created. So let's go back and fix that. And this is usually where people get in a little bit of trouble and they just can't figure out why it's not updating. So go back to menu and you can just hover right here next to the W and go down to menus and we're going to open this up again and what we missed was right down here. 
So we want to use this as our primary, secondary, and off canvas menu. Okay. We can also add the footer menu too. We'll just do that for fun. Now I'll hit save. And when we go back to the top here and we visit the site, we should see something a little bit different. So before we just had a, where it said home, blog, about, and gallery, but now we have put a couple subcategories underneath the about. And so now we see our blog posts are under there. So we have the two blog posts that I put under the new blog post and hello world, which is the blog post that came with the uh, WordPress website when we installed it. So those are now under there. So when we would click on these, it would open up a different page. So here's just a real basic page that we've set up. And that is it. You are ready to go. All right, so I showed you how to set up your menu. I showed you how to set up your sub menu. And then I showed you also how to make sure that it's working on the front end of, of your website so that everybody can find it. Now there's another uh, part of this, which is called categories and categories are found under blog posts. So we're going to go to blog posts or posts is where you're going to find it on the left hand side of your menu. And we're going to look for categories. And now when we set up categories, this will represent what type of thing we're talking about when we do a blog post. So for instance, when I'm doing it, I'm going to be talking about different types of photography or landscape photography or animal photography. So all of these different types of categories can then be added directly to the menu where everybody can find them, which is the point of the menu in the first place. So let's go to posts and then we'll take a look at what this all looks like. Here we are on the dashboard page. We're going to go down here to posts and you can view all your posts. So I'll show you this really quickly. And these are all your blog posts. So I've only done two. And under blog posts, you'll notice that there is categories. And under categories, we can assign different titles to each one. So right now I just have uncategorized and photos, but I have created um, quite a few other categories. So let's go over we're going to kind of hover over this post and just go down to categories. And that's going to open up this page. And you'll see that I already have a few different categories. And so as I write my blog posts, maybe I'm putting up pictures of trees or pictures of food. I would just add, if I was doing food, I would just add this category to my blog post. And these can all be represented also on your main menu page. So that's a very easy way. So if people are looking at your blog post and they're trying to find something specific, they can then see, oh, I want to see animal photos or I want to see landscape photos or whatever it would be. So here's how we add one. So I just added this tree. I'm just going to get rid of this one real quick. All right, it will be deleted. So that's how you get rid of a category. Let's just add it back in. We're going to put this one as trees. And you will see here that there's a slug. You don't have to worry about this, so this will be created automatically. But let's say we wanted to have trees under landscapes as a submenu. You could do that right here. And all you would have to do is pick this, and then it would appear underneath this as a submenu, just like on our main menu page. But for this, I just want to have it as its own. So then we can go add new category. And voila, it's going to pop up right here. Now, if you ever want to edit these, just go to edit. It's going to open up this page and you could put in a description or you could add a photo and things like that. I don't normally do that, but you know, that is up to you. Um, you could also change the parent category here, like we had said before and put it under landscapes. All right, let's take these. Let's go back to categories. And so I'm going to show you how to add all these categories under one spot on our main menu. So what we're going to do is we are going to go back to appearance then we're going to go down to menus, click menus, and that's going to open this up. So what we want to do right now, we have a blog page right here. Okay. So that's, that's our blog page right now, but let's say, we wanted to make this a little more specific. So like right now, when we click this on the main menu page, it's going to just go to 
the most current blog post and then they can go down the feed and find whatever they want. But let's say we want to make this more organized for people. So let's go down here. So we go down here and we can go like this and hit view all if you don't see all of them. So there we go. So now we have animal posts, landscape posts, photo posts, photo with food posts, trees, blah, blah, blah. Let's just hit select all for those, okay? We're gonna hit add to menu. And you're probably ahead of me at this point, but we can take all of these and we can start stacking them as sub menus right underneath our blog. Sometimes it's a little tricky, gotta play with it a little bit. There we go. And we'll put these in here. Just kinda put them in. That one's, we'll get that fixed in a second. We'll put this one over here, put that one over there. There we go. Trees. And we'll put uncategorized in there as well. Now, if you want to arrange them, go ahead and do that. So you can kind of get, do some sort of, you know, however you wanted to do it. Uh, like I had said before, if you wanted to have trees under landscapes, you could just go like that, and then that'll be another drop down menu that it will appear. But for right now, let's just do this, and then we'll take a look at how this works. All right, so go down to the bottom, hit Save Menu. And that's saving it to our main menu right here. Okay, let's go to the front. And go up to the top where it says the name of your website and hit Visit Site. Okay, so we're looking at this. It looks very similar to what we had. But look at this. When we hover over the blog, it now has a drop-down for all of these. Now, the only ones I think I've used so far is this one. So we'll see where that takes us. So that takes us just to things that are categorized as food. So let's go back here so we can just go to the top here. Let's just hit our regular, and that's probably going to bring up this exact photo. <laughs> yep, it is. Um, but let's say uh, we wanted one of these that's uncategorized. All right, so this one was one that came with the website. They, you know, it didn't have any other categories, so it just got put under uncategorized. Let's go to that. And we go down to uncategorized. And that should just bring up that one. So that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea. So if we had more blog posts about any of these other things, which we will in the, the future, um, all of those would pop up. So I want to show you one other quick little thing, and then we're going to kind of wrap this video up. And if you have any questions at this point uh, that maybe I've missed, please leave me a comment uh, below, and I'll be happy to answer that question, as well as, you know, even maybe make another little video um, explaining that particular point. So let's go back to the dashboard here. And let's go back to blog posts really quickly. I just want to show you, we're going to look at all the blog posts right now, and I want to show you where you can add this category section. Okay, so we're going to go to here, and we're going to hit edit, since this is the only blog post that I've done. And it's going to open this up. Now, if you don't see anything here on the right-hand side, go up to the top, and you're going to see this little gear. Hit that, and voila, that's going to open that up. So when you scroll down here, you're going to see this is where your categories are. So you can see all the categories here, and you can even add new categories if you'd like the same way. So you just hit this, add your new category, and then hit add new category. And you can also do the parent as well. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. So you can add this to multiple um, categories if you wanted or you can just do the one so I just wanted to show you that uh, the other thing when you're doing blog posts always just make sure that you're adding a featured image okay and I've actually covered that in one of my other websites videos so all right so we're gonna hit update on that one even though that's not food <laughs> all right well, guys, thank you so much for watching this. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'd be happy to make a video on whatever you're having difficulty with. 
And um, please uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'm working on them all the time. And my goal really is to just make sure that I'm helping people who are new to WordPress uh, get the tools that they need as quickly as possible and try to explain some of the back end stuff that it does seem a little confusing uh, when you're first starting out. But um, be assured that it does all come together and it is quite enjoyable uh, when you see kind of your vision come together. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.